Monday. We out here getting ready for Hurricane Ian, baby. And we're going to be talking about preparing for the storm and preparing for the week all at the same time. Super, super excited, guys, for today's episode on the Relentless Life podcast. We about to get lit. We about to get lit. If you guys are just tuning in, drop some fire in the comments below for me. Let me know you guys are watching. What's going on, Mel? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Relentless Life Podcast. Super excited to have you guys on here. We're going to wait for some people to drop in. We're going to be talking about preparing for Hurricane Ian. For those of you guys that are living in Southwest Florida, really all of Florida, we're about to get hit by the storm, and uh, we are going to see where it's going to go in the next couple of days. But I'm going to talk about how we can prepare through the storm and prepare to stay successful and to stay on track as we head closer to our goals throughout the week. I just had my first Zoom call with my clients yesterday, and it was phenomenal. We spoke about some wins from this past week. We spoke about some things we were struggling with. And thank you very much, Mel. I appreciate you. Um, definitely will do my best to stay safe. We got some preparation to do tomorrow. But guys, the call yesterday, we were talking about some wins, some struggles, um, and then also our goals for this week and how we're going to stay on track. I got the 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 verbal commitment from my men on our call yesterday that they were going to follow through this week to do the actions needed, even with the storm, to stay on track to accomplish their goals. And for most of them, it was eating their meals, preparing their meals, staying 90 to 100 percent compliant, hitting all their workouts, you know, hitting any other goals that are maybe outside of our fitness program. And um, it's super inspiring to see the guys commit like that verbally to me as their coach on a live phone call. I thought that that was super freaking cool. So if you guys are just dropping in, drop some fire. What's going on, Azith? Happy freaking Monday, my man. Let's freaking get it today, guys. Um, I need to pin that comment so you guys can see it as you're tuning in. If you guys are, let me know what you guys are doing today to prepare for the storm. You know, I'm a, I consider myself a Floridian. and I've been here for 16 years. I'm, uh, I moved down here when I was just after my 10th birthday, I'll be 26. This actually, I get a hurricane for my birthday. My birthday is this Thursday, the 29th. So I'll be celebrating my birthday. My sister's birthday is Wednesday when the storm's supposed to hit. My birthday is Thursday. Um, so we'll be having a little hurricane slash, I guess, party, you know, with the family indoors. You know, I, I guess you can't really complain as long as you're with family, you know. I really don't care where I'm at as long as I'm celebrating with with family, with my girlfriend, with the people that I love and truly care about. So that is my birthday this week, but 10 years, 16 years ago, I moved here from Jersey. So I grew up in Florida and, you know, at, when we first moved here, hurricanes were like this big thing. Like, you know, anyone that doesn't live in Florida or anywhere on the Gulf coast um, is very scared of hurricanes. And for natives, Floridians, we like, we're used to this shit by now, right? Like we, we get hurricanes, like you have a hurricane season every year, June to November, like you're used to it, you know, oh, we're tracking the traffic, stuff like that. Um, but it is good to be prepared, you know, like, you know, even though I'm a Floridian, I'm just, you know, I've been through multiple hurricanes, been through Irma, been through all of them. Um, it still is dangerous. You know, you still have to be prepared. So I definitely, you know, encourage you guys, if you're like me, I'm just like, ah, it's just another storm. Like definitely still do your preparation. <clears throat> I would definitely suggest, um, you know, I know the news is probably going to be telling people put your shutters up. Like I'm definitely going to be putting my shutters up. I, half of my house is hurricane proof glass, the impact windows and stuff like that. But the other half that isn't, I'm definitely putting shutters up on. I got some stuff to move around. I got to bring my grill in my garage. So definitely some preparation to do this week, but I'm also going to be preparing for my business, preparing for my help, my own health goals and staying on track with that as well. And that is what we're going to be talking about in today's podcast. So if you guys are just tuning in, Definitely tag some movies in the comments below so we can get more people in here and we will get this podcast started in the next couple minutes. I'm going to grab some water here. <clears throat> Make sure you guys are drinking plenty of water this week, today, every day, guys. You need to make sure you're drinking at least half of your body weight in ounces of water, of clean, filtered to a certain extent water. You should be drinking tap water. We talked about that before. Should be drinking out of plastic, but yeah, here I am drinking out of plastic. I'm ordering a, a gravity filtration system. Pro One is the name of it. I went, I tried going through Berkey. I tried doing Berkey and I found out that they're not NSF or ANSI certified. Um, companies that don't have that certification, in my opinion, should not be selling or marketing a, a product that is responsible for filtering out things like lead, toxic, toxic, uh, chemicals, microplastics, um, all of these different things that we shouldn't be consuming in our body. So I just think that they're a fraudulent company personally, but that's just my opinion. So I did my research and I found this pro one is NSF certified. So I'm going to be going through them. 
But, 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 we are going to get started. We got some comments here. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even see that you guys were commenting in here. Um, Azure primarily. What's up, my man? I'll be safe from Hurricane. Be safe, everyone. <clears throat> Been busy joining the lives lately, but glad to join again. Thank you very much. Let's fucking go, bro. Stay prepared. Drink plenty of water. Let's get after it. But we're going to go live. I don't see any of my clients in here. They're just going to probably watch the replay. I'm going to keep this one short. Got a bunch of stuff to do today. We're actually moving all of our stuff um, out of our apartment today. <clears throat> my girlfriend and I. And <clears throat> excuse me. My voice is cracking. We're moving all of our stuff out of our apartment today because it is flooding. And if you guys are in the Fort Myers area, I'm actually going to do um, not a shout out, but I'm actually going to call my apartment complex out right here on live because I really don't care. Our apartment has flooded. It's flooded eight to nine times, eight or nine times over the last three or four months. And they have done, they, they put sandbags out. They've tried to do stuff about it, but they still can't um, um, like eliminate the problem. And we've contacted management. We've even tried to contact their uppers and nobody is helping us. They said they were going to bring a moisture meter out here because now we smell mold when we come back. And it's like, we're probably breathing in mold and they're not doing anything about it. They're not even bringing a moisture meter out here to show us that there's no mold. Like that's what an apartment complex should do. Like they should come out and make sure that like your health is like, okay. Like they've been, it's been flooding and not to mention they've ruined our furniture. We have to do laundry every time it rains, like to soak up the water with towels. Like it's, it's a pain in the ass. So the Grove, um, at, at Portofino, at Portofino or something like that, the Grove, do not live here. It's an apartment complex. Do not live here. They're brand new. Their apartments are between 2000 to 2200 a month. So it's not cheap. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, do not move to the Grove in Fort Myers. If you're looking for a place to stay, their management is horrendous. They are horrible. Um, I'm the first person to leave someone a good review when they give me good service or give me a good product. But when someone does not do that for me, I am also the first person to speak up and be a consumer's advocate and say, do not move here. Do not use this service or product. I would definitely not use this this place here. It is terrible. So if you're looking for housing in Fort Myers, do not use this facility, this place. It is terrible. Their management sucks. We've been breathing in mold for, holy shit, a couple months. It sucks. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, we're going to live in three, two, one. What is going on, squad? Welcome back to another episode on the Relentless Life Podcast. It's your boy, Coach Chance. If you guys are just tuning in, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your Monday to listen to me rant and rave on this beautiful Monday. Guys, today we're going to be talking about preparing for Hurricane Ian and staying on track towards our fitness and health goals throughout the week. We're preparing for the week, guys. It's Monday, baby. You guys already know what Mondays are about. It's about preparing for success. It's about preparing so that we don't fail, okay? So... Today, we are going to be talking about some things that you can do, and I'm actually in the middle of making a reel about some healthy snacking options during the storm. We're going to be talking about some things that you guys can do today and tomorrow before Hurricane Ian hits. If you guys are in Florida, if you guys are you know, on the, the, the north, it's mainly Florida that's going to be, be getting hit, um, but the Gulf Coast, I guess you can say, prior to the storm hitting on Wednesday, it's projected to hit Wednesday, like starting like 10 a.m. in the morning throughout the day, Wednesday and into Thursday. So some things that you guys can do to prepare for the storm is definitely making sure that you guys are getting those healthy snacks in now, st stocking up on those snacks now so that, you know, if something happens and you're in a pinch, you don't have to succumb to eating, you know, certain uh, canned foods like canned beans or like um, you know, canned fruit it, rather than having fresh stuff. Now, obviously fresh stuff is only going to last so long, but if you have those healthy snacks, so those healthy options ahead of time, you don't have to succumb to, to eating the unhealthy stuff, to eating stuff that you don't necessarily have an option to. Obviously, if you, if you have to eat, you have to eat. Like I get that, right? Like I understand like survival mode, like, yeah, your goals go out the window. Your goal is to fucking survive. And I get that. But if you prepare ahead of time, then you can still set yourself up for success. Like obviously if you're counting your macros and you're trying to get a certain amount of, uh, of protein in, like stock up on, on beef sticks or, or beef jerky, stuff like that, things that won't go bad, you know? Like these are all things that we can be doing today and tomorrow, stocking up on plenty of water. You know, obviously I'm not a fan of plastic bottles. I still drink out of plastic until I get my Pro One gravity water filtration system in, um, which I'm super excited about, by the way. But stock up on plenty of water. Make sure you guys have enough water to get you through the storm so you're not having to drink from tap water. And, you know, you're getting that in. You're getting that hydration in throughout the week. What's going on, Marissa? So that is definitely, guys, a few tips. Beef sticks, fruit, 
um, you know, is, is, is really my go-to when in regards to like traveling, moving, obviously prep, preparing for a storm because I have all the frozen meat in the world. You know, I buy quarter cow, half cow. So I got ground beef steak, uh, chuck. I got all of it. You know, even I have beef heart. I have a shit ton of beef liver. I probably have $70 worth of beef liver in my fridge or my freezer. Um, but God forbid, if the, if that goes out, like that means going to spoil unless we have a generator. So if you don't have a generator, like that sucks, but you still need to have backups. You still need to have things that you have lined up to stay, to not just survive, but to also thrive and stay strong throughout the storm. Because God forbid, guys, if something does happen and, you know, power lines are down and there's a tree that falls in your house and you have to rescue somebody, you need to have that energy. You need to have that strength. And if you're not getting the right amount of protein in, if you're not getting the right amount of fuel into your body from the right sources, you guys know me, I'm an animal-based dude. So, you know, I'm going to say from animal-based sources, you're going to have a, a better chance at surviving and helping people and, and getting through the chaos. If this storm turns into that with eating the right foods and, and by eating the right foods, what we need to do is prepare ourselves for the worst, right? Prepare yourself for the worst, hope for the best, right? The famous saying. And that's what I truly believe in, especially when it comes to preparing for a storm, you know, a hurricane, something like this to this to this magnitude. Because they are, guys, at the end of the day, they are predicting a category four. And while I'm a Floridian and we made it through Hurricane 5 Irma, that was like the storm of the century, like this biggest hurricane ever, any no one's ever seen. Like this is off the charts. It's going to cause mass destruction. And while it did like really tear apart Marco Island and other areas, like for the most part, we were fine. And I hope that this storm is like that, but you never know. So it's good to be prepared. So honey guys, honey is also a big one. Honey is a great source of natural sugar, natural carbohydrates that is not going to cause inflammation in your bodies. Whereas, you know, some things like, um, you know, potatoes or, or vegetables, like a lot of people think, oh yeah, I got to I got to stock up on my vegetables, right? I got to be healthy. Um, you know, it's crazy guys. Like when I, when I was making my video on this captions app and I go into an insert an emoji and it, it says like the word healthy, a salad comes up. Like that's, that's what people associate as being quote unquote healthy. That is not the case. There is little to no nutrition in salad in comparison to a steak or to ground beef. And with that salad, you're getting a bunch of anti-nutrients, meaning things that are going to cause havoc on your gut, on your body, uh, and just on your system in general. So you don't want to be preparing with vegetables. You want to be pre preparing with things like honey, with ghee, with butter, um, with, like I said, beef sticks. These are all foods that are going to keep you highly energized, highly, highly energized throughout the storm to give you that, not only that physical strength, but that mental and cognitive awareness to be alert, right? Like if some shit happens, like you want to be alert and on your game. Guys, last night I had some raw liver and then I cooked the rest for dinner with my burgers and I had some all beef hot dogs from Boar's Head. And I felt so like the last couple of days, but regardless of how I felt with my body, I felt so alert because my diet has been so on point. My diet has been on point. I've been feeling good. And I truly associate that with my diet, obviously sleep, water, physical exercise, sun exposure. There's other things, meditation, like stress behavior, um, stress management, but my diet, our diets is what comprises us. Like that is who we are, who we are, what we eat. That saying we are, what we eat is completely true. And when people say, oh, it's 80% diet, 20% exercise or fitness to get a transformation or to look good and feel good. I disagree. I say it's 95% diet and 5% exercise, 95% nutrition, 5% fitness. That is it. That is it. Nutrition is everything. Mel, my daughter paid $26 for six bottles of smart water down there because there was no water anywhere. That is insane. That is insane. I think you were saying that she's in, she's in Fort Myers. That's where I'm at right now doing this live. Um, luckily where my girlfriend and I were at last night, I have a house a little north of here in Port Charlotte. Um, there were two huge pallets of um, Zephyr Hills water. Obviously, they, the price was was um, increased, which I think is kind of bullshit. If you ask me, like that's that's price gouging. You know, when there's a natural disaster that's supposed to happen, like you shouldn't be legally allowed to increase the price of something. Um, but the water was up, but it was only six dot six dollars and like thirty cents or something for a twenty four pack of water, whereas before it was like four fifty. So. Yeah, that sucks that she had to put that much money out for six bottles of smart water. Total BS. That is total, total BS. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously just, just preparing for the storm, having that stuff. Like at the end of the day, we can make, as you know, Mel, being a fitness coach, um, you can make more money. You know, what we do, we get to help people. 
Um, and, and we get paid to help people. We get paid. It's the best job in the world, you know, and I know that you agree with that best job in the world to be able to, to be able to help people and get paid for it. So you can always make more money. You know, we're hungry to help people. People are going to pay us for our services. You can always make more money. Um, so, you know, getting those things in like water, the proper nutrition, like just being prepared, having those things ahead of time to stay healthy, to stay safe and to survive. Um, and I like to say not even survive, but to thrive is, is just so important because money is, is replaceable. Our lives are not, our health is not, you know, that's what I guys too. Also, I want to just say something as well with the storm, preparing for the storm, our health is all we have, right? Like that to me, that's why I love being a fitness coach. I know Mel, if you're still in here, you would agree. I love being a fitness coach and I'm obsessed with it because I'm obsessed with my own health. And I want to, I want to show other people, like when you take care of your health, and you're physically active and you <clears throat> you're concerned with the food you put into your body and you meditate and you take care of your mental health and you do all of these things you are on your your best behavior you are you are performing at your highest level your highest standard and everyone around you benefits because of that anything and anyone around you benefits when you are a better man or a better woman a better father a better mother a better sister a better brother whatever like you are at your best and that all starts with your health. Everything starts with how you take care of yourself. Everything's that, that all starts with how you speak to yourself every day. And, and nutrition, guys, being prepared with our nutrition ahead of time for Hurricane Ian is absolutely huge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna release that reel after I'm done with this <clears throat> this podcast and this live stream today. I, I gave some really good um, healthy options, you know, in that video. So I'm excited to kind of release that and show you guys what those healthy options are. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to come on here and talk about, you know, my, my input on preparing for Hurricane Ian for the storm this week. And just guys, anything in general, like, like today's Monday, right? Like today's the start of a new week. And regardless of if we have a storm coming or not, today is the day we set the tempo for the rest of the week. Like my mentor, Mel, you know, this Brian Mark talks about this all the time. Coley talked about this all the time. Like if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. And that's straight up the facts. Like you need to prepare yourself to be successful starting with Monday. It's the same thing in the morning. Like when you start a day, you have to win the morning first. If you don't win your morning first and you don't start out with an A plus with accomplishing some shit in the morning, getting up on your first alarm, taking a cold shower, like doing these things that put you in a high energy mood, you're, you're, the rest of your day is going to suffer because of that. You need to fuel your mind, fuel your body with water, with a high protein breakfast, like these right things that are needed to get you into that state. Have an awesome day, Mel. Thank you for tuning in. I will definitely stay safe this week for sure, for sure. But as I was saying, guys, that is what it's about. You definitely want to stay prepared Monday mornings, getting it right, getting that energy, getting that vibe. What's going on, mom? Happy freaking Monday. But Mondays are everything, guys. Even with a storm coming, don't panic. Remember also as well, and I'll probably talk about this Wednesday. You know, guys, I, I go live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all at 9 a.m. So I'm hoping by the time uh, Wednesday comes around at 9 a.m., it's still early enough to where we, if we do lose internet connection, it won't be then. So I do plan on doing another live Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. And I'm hoping, like I said, the storm doesn't affect my internet um, before then. So I can at least get that live out because I do want to talk about something else prior to the storm hitting on on Wednesday. And we're still unsure of where the storm is going to hit. And I feel like I'm a meteorologist here, like giving you guys the updates of the storm. We're still unsure of where the storm is going to hit, but you know, it's looking like it's taking an easterly spin. So it is coming closer to that Tampa Bay area. So if you are in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you guys have your hurricane preparedness kits ready. And I should have been a, I should have been a weatherman. <laughs> I should have been a weatherman. And it's funny too, because here I am cracking jokes on a Monday morning, right? It's funny too because mom, you know this. You're still if you're still watching. As a kid, um, I I had a I actually wanted to be a weatherman. And mom, you know this. We had a couple. Uh, my mom would film me outside, like when it was storming, and I would like be on there on the thing, like, "What's going on, Fox? You know, this is reporter chance here out here in the storm." And as you guys can see, like my dog was in the background, like I was using the dog as a prop and stuff. <laughs> but um, you guys know how it is being a kid. You guys have fun with stuff, and that's so important to not lose that that, um, that funness and that, like that looseness about yourself, that childlike, 
uh, that mentality, you know, of being like a, like a child, not immature, but being like having fun and being creative. Like we lose that as we get older. And that's what I like about being an entrepreneur and being a creator and being an innovator is we, we don't lose that sense of being a child. You know, we grow up in other ways, obviously we mature, we become an adult, but we don't lose that child, um, that childlike mind of being creative and having fun. You know, a lot of us forget how to have fun. You get all anxious. You hear the news. There's a fucking, st- I'm sorry. There's a storm coming. I told my mom I would be cursing as much in here. There's a storm coming, right? And you get all anxious and you get all like frantic and frightened, but you forget like you can only do what you can do. So if you guys take notes, you can only do what you can do. You give it a hundred percent. You put your all out there, but you can only do what you can do. Sid, what's going on, girl? Hope you're having the best Monday ever. So to wrap this podcast up, I want you guys to make sure that you treat today, you treat this Monday as every other Monday. We have a storm coming, right? We know we've been watching the news. Do not let it get the best of you. Do everything you can today and tomorrow to prepare. Get the snacks you need. Get the water you need. The healthy snacks. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that real out. Like I said in a little bit, I'm going to give you guys some really good healthy snack options to snack on during the storm. Do those things now, prepare now, just like we would prepare on Monday mornings, just like we would prepare Monday for the rest of the week, as we always talk about having that Monday never miss mentality. And you will be prepared. You will be able to stay on track with your health goals. You will be able to do your best. Guys, even if you can't hit the gym during the storm, you can still do push-ups. You can still do ab workouts. You can still do stuff inside. You can do a whole cardio workout inside if you have the room available. Okay? So no excuses. Don't miss. I will see you guys Wednesday before the storm hits. Mom, Sydney, love you, love you girls very much. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed today's podcast episode, I know it was a little goofier, a little funnier today. I enjoy these. Uh, make sure you guys screenshot Instagram, Facebook. Let me know how you guys liked the episode. Tag me at Chance Galloway Fitness. Post it up on your Facebook or Instagram story so I know you guys got some value from today's podcast. Thank you all so much again. Chad, I see you just joined in. Make sure you go you go back and watch the replay. This was a fire episode. A little funny. Talked about some funny stuff. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Have the best Monday ever. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe during the storm. Make sure you prepare. And I will talk to you guys Wednesday. Peace.